Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Alpine Linux 3.90 XFC desktop environment on VirtualBox 7.0. So this is my updated version of VirtualBox 7.0. So first I am going to create one Alpine Linux uh, 3.19 virtual. Version. So I am giving some name. So we are going to install XFC uh, lightweight desktop. So next I am providing the destination path where virtual machine is getting stored. Next this is the DVD ISO file which I already downloaded from Alpine website. So Linux flavor I am selecting other Linux. Next. Memory I am providing 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU cores and allocating 40 GB virtual order size that's it ok once again go to settings system motherboard uncheck floppy optical drive is the first device in boot order and pointing device will be USB tablet so network will be NAT ok so we need an internet connection for this. Okay, Alpine Linux started. So first step is login as a root. Next, uh, we are going to start the installation. So we need to execute scripts. Setup iPhone Alpine is the first script we need to execute. So this will install the base operating system. So US is my uh, key map. So keyboard variant also US. Okay. Host name I am giving some fully qualified domain name as host name. Next, I am providing ETH0, which is my network interface card. Next, I am providing DHCP. So, this will uh, assign IP address automatically. So, no need any manual. So, I am uh, so give N. I am uh, not needed any manual network configuration. So, provide the root password. Okay, time zone select Asia. So this is uh, my time is my time zone. You can select your time zone accordingly. So proxy, I am not having any proxy. Give none. Network time protocol Crony. Crony only. Uh, I am uh, going to use Crony. Okay, APK mirror. So I am going to select one mirror. So from the list, okay, I am selecting the first one from the mirror list. Okay, now I am going to set up the login user. Okay, so I am providing some name to the login user and provide password to the login user. So SSH key, I am not having any SSH key, give none. So I am selecting open SSH as a SSH software. Okay, so we come to final step. Uh, select the disk, so it, is, it will be SDA. SDA is that a virtual hard drive which I have assigned right, that one only. So I am selecting SIS, okay. Yes, give yes to write the data. That's it. So it will format the address and write the data. So Alpine Linux 3.19 base operating system is uh, installed successfully. So let me reboot. 
so i am powering up the power of the virtual machine go to system motherboard hard disk will be the first device in boot order so hard disk is the only device in boot order now so i will boot the alpine lx3.19 from hard disk now So now I am going to log in as a uh, login user, uh, which I have provided during the, which I have created during the uh, installation. So Java Forms uh, login user which I have created. So same user I am logging in. Okay. So now I am switching as a root user. So only root user can run the scripts and install the packages. Okay. Okay. Next, I am going to start the desktop uh, setup. So first of this, we need to run setup iPhone XORG iPhone base script. Okay. So this uh, XORG script is mandatory. Okay. So uh, this will install the XORG packages. Next up, I am going to install some video drivers. Okay, XF86 iPhone video iPhone FB Dev XF86 iPhone video iPhone Intel XF86 iPhone video iPhone Visa. Next, uh, mouse that is mouse driver. Also, I need to install XF86 iPhone XF86 iPhone import iPhone VM mouse so this will install the video and uh, mouse drivers okay next I am going to install PCI utils PCI utils so this is also mandatory so uh, these three steps are mandatory to set up the desktop environment okay now this is a very important step. We are going to install the XFC uh, packages. So, what are all the XFC compatible packages for Alpine Linux 3.19? So, those things will be installed. So, some of the packages might not be working, uh, which may require uh, special drivers. Okay. So, what are the things uh, working? Those only I am installing. Okay. Let us run this command. So, apk add xfc and uh, other components. Yes, so xfc and other uh, components are installed successfully. Now, very, very important step apk and linux headers so this linux headers is needed by virtual box distribution software make sure that linux header is installed so i am powering up my uh, i am switching off my alpine linux 3.19 uh, desktop okay go to settings once again so i am enabling shared clipboard and drag and drop so before installing guest edition i am enabling this uh, drag and drop shared clipboard and shared folders also okay now i am mounting the uh, directory from windows host machine to alpine linux desktop okay so guest edition feature i already enabled let me start the alpine linux okay now I am going to install the guest edition software. So APK add uh, virtual box icon guest icon additions. Next we need to install one more iPhone X11. 
So these two packages we need to install if you install Alpine Linux as a guest OS in VirtualBox. So I am adding some services. RC update add UDEV. RC update add DBus. RC update add LightDM. So LightDM is the XFC display manager. Keep in mind. RC update add VirtualBox iPhone guest iPhone edition. Next, finally, RC update VirtualBox iPhone DRM iPhone client. So make sure this this these services are uh, added. Okay, now I am going to reboot. So guest edition feature I already enabled. So directly I am rebooting. I am not making any changes. Okay, let us see what is going to happen. Yes, so XFC desktop I can able to view. Let me log in. Okay. So this is XFC desktop. Let me go to go in full screen. Okay, so uh, I adjusted the full screen. Now I am going to run some commands in terminal. Okay, so I am going to run some command in terminal. I am going to copy paste this terminal output to uh, Windows OS machine. This was machine notepad. Okay, let me copy this uh, terminal output to check whether shared keyboard is working or not in XFC desktop environment. Yes, I can able to copy paste from Alpine Linux 3.19 XFC desktop to Windows OS machine. Okay. Next, uh, let me try from Windows OS machine to Alpine XFC desktop. Yes, so I can able to copy paste. Okay, next uh, I am going to test the shared folder. So you can see shared folder is already mounted. So but it uh, unable to access the content. So let me open a terminal and try to access the content uh, content of the shared folder as a root user. So shared folder is available in slash media directory, cd slash media. Yes, I can able to access the content of shared folder. So finally, uh, we have succeeded uh, VirtualBox guest edition in Alpine Linux 3.19 XFC desktop. So Alpine Linux 3.19 XFC desktop installation on VirtualBox. 7.0 with guest edition is successful. Make sure that you have installed the drivers, uh, everything correctly, and also I have provided the list of commands in the description of this video. Okay, so go through the description of this video, you can copy paste the commands.